Hey guys, it's the final round and my name is Jordan. Are you guys ready to donate? All right, so that's enough of that. I just wanted to add a laugh track to an intro and um, it is very late at night. Uh, so I have two games available for this four game slate and uh, I found a few picks for you guys. You will see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier. There'll be a link in the description that'll give you a seven day free trial for Outlier. So I'm gonna jump right into this first pick. It's going to be Evan Mobley of the Cleveland Cavaliers over 17 and a half points plus assist at minus 120. They'll be facing the Lakers. So the Lakers, are fighting for that 7-8 game to where you just need to win one game uh, to get into the playoffs and you don't have to play two. And the Cavaliers are hanging on for their lives for that three seed and they need to show that they can compete with a good team and, and keep it going into the playoffs, build up some momentum. So these teams both have something they need to play for. The Lakers have been struggling against the power forward position, giving up the second most points to the power forward position. And assist-wise, they're middle of the road, giving up the 16th most assists. But that just comes down to uh, whether you're playing against a power forward that passes the ball uh, much or not. So uh, rankings there for assists uh, don't really matter too much to me. Unless it was something like a point guard position, I, I think that holds a lot more weight but Evan Mobley has gone over this line in four straight games shooting 67 percent on 11 shot attempts um, he's been great and I'm going to break down this line for you a little bit just so you can kind of see how it's built and uh, why I like assist um, and not adding rebounds his rebound chances aren't as much as you would think the Cleveland Cavaliers are doing great a great job as like a team rebounding like uh you know Obviously, Jared Allen is there. Max Struess will go get a bunch of rebounds. Sometimes uh, Darius Garland will end up with a bunch. Um, and Evan Mobley's rebounds just haven't got close to the line where he's at. He's had some big rebound games recently, but it hasn't been consistent. So I'm staying away from that. Um, his points is at 14 and a half. He's gone over this in six out of the seven games since he has returned from injury. Um, and he had 18 versus the Lakers earlier this year. So I honestly don't mind just points if you just want to go with uh, one line. Um, to add on assist is adding on three. So if you look at the screen, um, you'll see the past 10 games. He's gone over three assists in seven out of those 10 games. And he had six against the Lakers earlier this year. And he's averaging six potential assists a game since returning from injury. So three will break even with this 14 and a half points mark. And then any further four, five, six helps out with the points. So that's why I'm just tacking on assist. Uh, but obviously, you know, points he's been doing really well with and uh, has a great matchup there for points. So if you guys could, please like the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a little bit of extra time, say nothing in the comments. Um, I mean, like write the word nothing in the comments which you know what i'm saying this next pick is going to be jalen johnson over seven and a half rebounds at minus 123 he's going up against the nuggets who give up the 10th most rebounds to the power four position since returning from injury he's played three games one of them he's he was kind of on a minutes restriction and then the two other games he's played 36 minutes in both of those games and in those 36 minute games he had 14 rebounds and 16 rebounds off of six 16 and 22 rebound chances and he's been playing the most minutes uh, for for the Hawks they really need him out there as far as like recent history against the Nuggets he hasn't played the Nuggets this year um, but the Nuggets lineup hasn't changed too much I know they lost Bruce Brown um, and the Hawks lineup is a lot different but uh, as far as the Nuggets they're still kind of the same team so last season he played the Nuggets twice he had 10 rebounds in 32 minutes and then he had five rebounds in 16 minutes and that's pretty easy math we can double 16 to make it 30 and say he was on pace for 10 rebounds in 32 minutes uh, for both of the games. So didn't struggle to get rebounds against this team. And now we know he's going to get about 36 minutes. We just need him to get eight rebounds plus and he's getting the opportunities for it.
And if you guys do well with these and you feel like giving back, I have a Cash App and Venmo in the description. You can donate back to the channel. And thank you to the people who do donate. And I also want to shout out my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay Play, and Chalkboard. Use promo code FINAROUND11 on any of these. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. And Sleeper will do it up to $500. There will be links in the description that will take you straight there with the promo codes. And thank you to anyone who uses those. And I have said that a lot this year. It's like a just I'm not even thinking about it anymore. Um, but I do appreciate people who use those, obviously. Um, this next one's going to be first quarter props. So first quarter props, uh, when I see the Nuggets, the one I want to go to immediately is Michael Porter Jr. They only have uh, Jokic lines out right now. So looking for Michael Porter Jr. 4.5 points. Um, in the first quarter, if it's around minus 115 or plus 100 where it's been at, I really like that play. He's been hitting this at a high clip. He takes a bunch of shots in the first quarter. So keep an eye out for that one. This next one is going to be Jared Allen over five and a half points at minus 115. He's gone over nine out of the last 10 games. So if you've taken this uh, last 10 games, you've hit this nine times and you're a very happy person. And he went over this against the Lakers earlier this year. Uh, so as far as all the other first quarter props, uh, there wasn't many where I kind of like love the payout on them. You know, a lot of the payouts weren't too great for some high hit rate ones. There's one uh, that I noticed that you know, I, I really like, uh, Darius Garland over one and a half assist at minus 139. He's hit that in seven straight. Um, and then, you know, the payouts get, get worse uh, as you go. So we have to wait for more of those to come out uh, for the first quarter props. So if you would like to discuss lines further, I have a Discord link is in the description. You can hop on in there. Conversation will be going on all day long about all kinds of sports. Um, soccer, NBA, baseball, um, the UFC is tomorrow. And as far as a recap for yesterday, um, I had uh, Jabari Walker over 26 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. That was a sweat. I thought he was going to hook, but he got a rebound right at the end of the game. Um, they played DeAndre Ayton 40 minutes, and that is new. Um, they normally don't play him that much so he took a lot of shots and took a lot of volume away from Jabari Walker who was taking like 17 shots you know last game Jabari Walker was and he really I don't even think he got near 10 shots glad he went over that and then Window Carter Jr. played a ton of minutes and he hooked at 21 uh, and his line was at 21 and a half uh, just needed you know anything else uh, to go over that um, so that one sucked uh, with the hook but um, first quarter props went back to uh, my guy Gary Harris who didn't score a point in the last game and he came out hit the first shot three-pointer and he went over two and a half first quarter points made it look easy and everyone else hating on me for taking him last time and they're like no I'm never taking that again it's like boom hit that in like the first minute. So um, DeAndre Ayton over 0 0.5 assists at plus 126. He ended up with two assists in the first quarter. Um, so now that's seven straight for him. That's the one to keep an eye out for. And then Corey Kisper, yeah, he's not Chris Burt anymore. He's not crispy. Um, over 4.5 points at minus 125. He had gone over seven out of 10. He shot one for four from three and uh, he hit... Uh, he hit the one three, and I saw one where he he didn't cross over Jabari Walker, but Jabari Walker fell over, and it was kind of one of those step back. Crowd goes ooh ah, and you know normally guys knock that down for the highlight, and he missed that one. Um, and then I was like, man, he just was off. All he needed to do is knock one of those down, and uh, he hits that. But it happens. Volume was there, uh, so. Can't be uh, too mad about it. Guys just got knocked down shots. Uh, that's sports betting. So like I said, it is late. I'm going to get this edited and get it out to you guys. Uh, God bless you all. It's fine around. My name is Jordan. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.